Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, we are going to see the calculation of mean, median and mode in discrete series. Discrete series is also known as ungrouped data. I am going to upload two videos, part 1 and part 2. The video which you are watching now is part 1 in which we are going to see the calculation of mean, median, mode in discrete series or ungrouped data. In the other part, in part 2, in the other video, we are going to see the calculation of mean, median and mode in continuous series which is also known as grouped data so if you watch both these videos part 1 and part 2 you will be perfect with calculation of mean median and mode in both the series whatever the question they may give you in the examination you will be able to do the solution and easily you can score full marks so if you are watching this video you have to watch this video till end and definitely you have to watch my part 2 video also so that you will be perfect with this topic Okay, and if you are new to our channel, learn with Sahira, subscribe it for more videos and don't forget to share this video with your friends too. If you want the notes of all the subjects and languages of your group, whatever the subjects and languages you are having in your group, I will be giving you the access for all subjects and languages notes which are really very easy, simple and clear to understand. If you want the notes, text me on my Instagram, want notes. I will be giving you the access for all subject important question and answers notes. My Instagram ID is learn with Sahira. Don't worry, I will be uploading or I will be sharing my Instagram ID link in this video description also. Okay, so without getting late, let us get started with our discrete series calculation of mean, median and mode. First, we will be calculating mean. Then we will be going with median. In the last, we will be seeing mode. Okay. So first, let us calculate mean. To calculate mean, first we have to take in command frequencies. Whatever they have given in the question, that thing only you have to put in put in your answer also. So first one is income. Take income. Income they have denoted as X. If they don't give X in the question also, you should assume income as X. Okay. Definitely, if they give X and uh, F, that is completely okay and fine. If they don't give X and up F, you have to assume income as X and the other one, whatever they give as F. So, draw a box. Then, second one is frequency. Frequency is F. Okay. Now, Whatever they have given in the question, that only you have to copy paste. 10, 12, 14, 16, 20. Then frequency it is given as 5, 8, 15, 7, 5. Okay. So this is what they have given in the question. After taking X and F, next we are going to see Fx fx is nothing but when you multiply x value with f value you will be getting fx okay 10 into 5 whatever the value will be that is fx 12 into 8 whatever the value will be that will be fx okay so don't do any mistakes you just take a calculator and calculate so that there will be no mistakes okay 10 into 5 how much it is it is 50 50 is our fx 12 into 8 96 is our fx then 14 into 15 210 16 into 7 112 20 into 5 100 okay so this is our fx after finding fx we have to see sigma fx Sigma fx is nothing but when you add all the values of fx, you will be getting sigma fx. Okay, so add all the values. 50 plus 96 plus 210 plus 112 plus 100. How much it is? It is 568. Okay, then we have to know n also. This is known as n or we can also call it as sigma f. Your wish, whatever you want to call it, you can okay 5 plus 8 plus 15 plus 7 plus 5 how much it is it is 40 when we add all these values we will be getting sigma fx when we add all these values of frequency we will be getting n or sigma f okay so after getting this sigma fx let me just highlight it with red pen 
you can take any other pen okay but other color pen okay so we are going to see the mean so in your examination also in your answer booklet also you have to draw this box okay i'm using pen itself but you have to use pencil and scale and you have to draw this box neatly so to find mean we should know the formula of mean formula of mean is nothing but x bar equals to sigma fx by n this is our formula we need to substitute all the values into this formula okay x bar equals to fx how much it is it is 568 and n how much it is it is 40 now you calculate this 568 divided by 40 how much it is it is 14.2 okay so here mean is 14.2 you can write like this okay we have calculated the mean we got the mean now let us go with the median okay so let us see the formula of median if you know the formula then only you will be able to do the mean median so first we need to understand the formula okay what is the formula of median it is n plus 1 by 2 the term or we can also say it as item okay we can say it as term or item your wish so to find median first we should know cumulative frequency okay to find median we need to know cumulative frequency let us find cumulative frequency what is cumulative frequency let me say you all cumulative frequency is nothing but see first frequency whatever it is there you have to take it as it is okay here we have 5 that is why we are taking 5 if we have 10 here we have to take 10 if we have 15 here we have to take 15 so whatever the first frequency is there you have to take it like that then you have to add this cumulative frequency with the other frequency then you will be getting the new cumulative frequency okay let us add 5 plus 8 how much it is it is 13 then you have to add 13 plus 15 you will be getting the new cumulative frequency 13 plus 15 how much it is it is 28 28 plus 7 it is 35 35 plus 5 it is 40 so this is our cumulative frequency when we when we get the cumulative frequency we can go with the median okay so let us substitute the values into this formula what is n n is 40 plus 1 by tooth term okay let us do the calculation now see 40 plus 1 by tooth term now let us go with the calculation part so what it is 40 plus 1 by 2 means 41 by 2 okay we have to do 41 by 2 41 by tooth term do the calculation what you will get 41 divided by 2 it is 20.5 so here 20.5 is the term oh okay 20.5 the term now we have to see this term or this value in our cumulative frequency if we have this value in cumulative frequency then okay if we don't have what we have to do let me say you okay so see here in the cumulative frequency do we have 20.5 no we don't have 20.5 so what we are going to do we are going to take the next number after 20.5 13 will be less 35 will be less but 25, uh, 28 is after 20.5 right but less than 28 nothing is there it should be highest or it should be the next number after 20.5 so it is 28 so here this is the cumulative frequency for this what is x you have to see here it is 14 okay x is 14 so 14 is nothing but our median what is 14 14 is our median so we have to write therefore 
median is 14 okay we got the median now let us go with mode mode is also known as z okay what is mode mode is nothing but highest frequency okay what is highest frequency means what is the big number in this frequencies you have a look 5 8 15 7 5 what is the highest frequency here it is 15 yes or no this is the highest frequency so what is there uh, with this frequency what is in the x uh, column it is 14 so here 14 will be our mode 14 will be our mode so therefore mode is 14 okay so this is what it is the calculation of mean median and mode in discrete series for the calculation of mean median mode in continuous series or grouped data you have to watch my other video which is part 2 and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel learn with sahira for more videos and for notes of all the subjects and languages you can text me on my instagram see you all in the next video bye bye